All personnel report the battle stations. All personnel report the battle stations. We got a new capital ship coming to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, albeit not as big and deadly as yours truly, the Kraken here. But enough to shake up Galaxy Viros. Today, we are going to unlock the brand new profanity in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. We're going to make sure you get all the tips and tricks to unlock this capital ship. And we're going to show even what it looks like at the lowest star count possible unlocking. Can you take on Executor even without having a maxed out profanity? Now, of course, the relic requirements are for Cassian, Dash, Mon Mothma, Biston, Jin Urso, as well as Harrison Dula. But of course, some of these ships have some characters that aren't required and that's going to impact the ship's viability so you can see that some of my ships like the ghost a very important unit for this event as you're going to see doesn't have crazy high relics my dash is a little bit higher than the requirement of seven otherwise the most important ships for this event as you're about to see is the starting trio of outrider ghost as well as the rebel y-wing and then cassian and biggs are also going to be important reinforcements all right we're going to start tier number one here oh all right, here we go. So they got going here. We're going to use this anti-stealth mechanism, which should be able to dispel all the stealth on non-rebel enemies here. So let's go do that. Everyone's under stealth because of Thai Echelon. There we go. We got marked on everyone now. Now, probably what I want to do, since Red is controls turn meter, I want to get Kyle running masked out here. So let's go start this party off by doing this. All right, getting some nice hits there. We're going to go do this ability right here. First special, Static Jammer. We're going to call Outrider for the assist here. All right. Looking good so far. Reinforced Tall doing its work. Nicely done. All right, hopefully I can try to get this Kyle Ren Command Shuttle out here. Uh, let's go ahead and recover some protection on us. Got some speed up as well. Very nicely done. Calling in our first reinforcement. I'm thinking Cassian. It's probably going to be the way to go here. Actually, you know what? I want to get a second taunt up here. Let's go do this. We have target lock over on Kyle Ren's shuttle or his uh, TIE silencer. We're going to do the swarm attack. And that's... Oh, come on. You got to give me what I want. Let's do this for right now. AOE. There we go. Nicely done. All right. Who's their next reinforcement? All right. They got the uh, voice. Sith Assassin showing up here. Okay. We're going to try to see if we can start working on Kylo Ren's command shuttle here before they start doing some funky little things. Now, keep in mind, they're not going to do as many turn meter moves because of Raddus here. So it should be working in our favor. But nonetheless, don't want to screw around for too long. All right. We're going to go do this unconventional maneuver. We're going to go target Outrider. That should be it for Kylo Ren's command shuttle. There it goes. Nicely done. Remember, we got extra bonus damage baked into the unique ability because it's a support cargo ship here. Let's go now and start targeting first order officer. Ah, oh, resisted. That sucks. All right, we might just come back around later to it. Let's go ahead, take him down, do a little wiggle. We're going to do a basic on the special forces here. Nice. Look at it. And we got Redis to assist. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Okay. Hunted's getting applied. Who's it going on? Hopefully not Outrider. That's not the worst thing because they're going to go away anyways in a second. All right, I think in the meantime, let's start working over here. I will say I do miss having the Millennium Falcon doing buff the spell on basics here. But luckily, we got Cassie Newing, first reinforcement. Actually, at this point, second reinforcement. But let's not get bogged down into the details. Let's go all in on you. There we go. Nicely done. Let's start doing this. Let's start doing our uh, concealed concussion missiles. I don't think we need to get protect regenerations right now. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Sith Bomber coming out here. Going to start slowing us down with some daze maneuvers. Just it's gonna make it more complicated getting attacks on a turn once we got days. Turn meter is not as big of a concern since Radis doesn't allow us to get turn meter. All right, AOE coming in. All right, not much happening on that move. All right, here we go. Let's get the protection back. All right, we should be ready for Dash Rendar's mini ultimate here in a moment. But here we go. Hey, finalizer, go catch. We have the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't get over that ultimate ability. Basic over here. Ooh, 69,000 damage just the way we like it. And that's going to wrap it up right there. Okay. Uh, definitely it's important to have the right starting lineup. I think we had the right starting lineup that time. We want to make sure we get a lot of big plays. So that way we get a lot of critical hits. And hopefully we can get to Gratis' ultimate a little bit faster as a result. So there we go. Part number one. Knocked out. Let's get to part number two. All right. Let's try it again. Uh, basically, my biggest tip is be prepared to lose a lot. This is not a fun event. Very challenging. They don't really give you all the resources you need. And the enemy team takes lots of turns. They're very durable. And it's going to take a moment. All right. What we're going to do right away is we're just going to pop this, get everyone under stealth, all this funny shenanigans, get some offense up. And we're going to try to focus on Sunfact first here. Yeah, they're just a little too annoying. There we go. Let Rebel Y-Wing take all those hits. 
I'm going to focus priority over here. We don't need protection right now. Let's start reducing their defense. There we go. Nice couple critical hits. Hopefully, I can get a nice round of protection disruption. Not like we really need it, but I'll take it. Maybe get the... And we got the buff dispel. I'll take that at least. Uh, you know what? We can go a couple ways. I am think I'm going to go Outrider for the assist. Getting as many crits as possible. Didn't really want that dodge. There we go. So far, so good. I like that. Okay, let him get rid of those buzz droids for me. Let's go juice up our download progress by 20%. Get some speed up. Get some protection up. First reinforce that we're calling in here. Oh, let's go ahead and bring Cassian. Buff the spell, some of this charge. And we're going to try to gun down Sunfact here. Targeting Outrider for the assist. And oh, so close. Come on, that should be it. There it is. All right, hide a bomber. Next up on my list here. Part of what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do AOE. Yeah, let's go for it. Bonus damage coming in. Okay. All right. All right. So far, Rebel Y-Wing doing some nice work. I think that opening stealth with uh, Radis was very helpful. All right, basic. All right, there we go. Got some Ds. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Uh, boy, lots of heat. Lots of heat. Oh, boy. Ah, boy. It's doing a great job, though. Uh, all right. We're going to do the full swarm. Well, that's not a full swarm, but we're going to get Outrider for the assist here. There we go. There we go. Nicely done. Basic over here. Now they got... Oh, but come on, Rebel Y-Wing. It's going to be a little bit longer. You're doing a fantastic job here. All right. We're going to do Dispel debuffs. Yeah, let's do debuffs on target ally. Get rid of that. Nicely done. Do a little twirl because why not? We got that exposed lined up. 76% of download progress for Dash. Looking really good. We got burning on him. Okay. All right. Okay. He did a great job. Did a great job. 80% in there. Let's go ahead and bring out a new tank. Let's go bring out Biggs. The cover up for Rebel Y-Wing. There we blow. There it is. All right. We got Geno's and Soldier, and we got Vulture Droid. Part of me wants to do this. We're going to go ahead and do some emergency repair. Uh, actually, mm, let's wait. We're going to wait for a second. I want to use this here. We're going to, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's reduce the defense of this Vulture Droid. Let's just get him out of the picture as fast as possible. I think Scimitar, here we go. We got the reinforcement. A little bit of stealth. Hopefully, we have the anti-stealth maneuver with our Radis here in a moment. All right. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a cleanse, but we will do a buff the spell here. Um, mm, all right, Biggs down for the count. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this now. All right. All right. Uh, all right, we got it. Sending out the malevolence. Hey, Grievous, your mother's a metalloid monstrosity. <laughs> Look at him. Took the bait. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, got the damage unit. I think we're in a good spot now. And we're all golden. Let's just go ahead, do that, get the assist. All right, definitely a bit challenging. I think that was the right strategy. Ghost, Y-Wing, as well as Outrider, starting off with the stealth mechanic on the Radis here, and then getting us set up to make sure we can get through the rest of this nasty stuff. All right, there we go. Let's go on to tier number three here. Tier number three, we're going to stick to our usual lineup here. I've been liking the Ghost, Outrider, and Rebel Y-Wing starting units here. Let's see if we can make sure we can get another new play. Uh, going up against Negotiator. All right, let's see how this is going to roll. Now, I'm going to kind of treat this like an old school Rebel counter here where we want to go all in on Anakin here right away. Uh, let's just go do the concussion missiles first, reduce their defense. All right, nicely done. Got some days. That's kind of nice. That should help us out a little bit. All right, now, unfortunately, we got a taunt on our way here. All right, Pies popping some hits. Let's go get some protection disruption over here. Yeah, we got the buff to spell at least. Okay, we're going to do this here. Let's go ahead and I want to just full gun down Anakin. Let's do this. We're going to do this. I don't know if I quite need... I, I want to save the anti-stealth later for when Anakin goes into stealth here. Let's go now. Do this. There we go. Unfortunately, boy, super durable. Anakin here. This is not your usual negotiator in terms of the stats on this team. Let's go get the protection. Unfortunately, Y-Wing will miss out, but we increase our download progress a little bit here. All right. And let's see. First reinforcement coming in. We have Clone Sarge. All right. Losing our rebel Y-Wing here. I was hoping to have Anakin in stealth by now. I'm not sure if I like this here. All right. Maybe they'll just end up lo losing unending loyalty, and then we'll deal with it later. Let's go do um. Uh, hmm. I think we need a tank. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to need tank. Yeah, we have days on us. We can't even get a good assist anyways. Let's go bring out Biggie. All right, that's fine. We're just going to do basic. We can't even get an assist. Keep that target lock on. Drop down some basics here. Nice days. Okay. All right. Nice hit on Biggs. We're fine for the moment. All right, Anakin, let's lose that underling loyalty. Yeah, it should be gone now. All right, we need a good buff to spell to get the Anakin here. All right. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go reduce some defense over here. Uh, probably. That's uh, fine. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to use this for right now. Probably could have, you know, honestly, I think I could have done uh, the basic on Radis there. I think that would have been a good call because we get the bonus turn then. All right. All right. Probably going to lose Biggie here. 
See, that's, that's when Millennium Falcon's gonna be handy. We don't have the cleanse capability. All right, there we go. 20% ultra charge. Not ultra charge, but Radis Outrider charge. All right. Let's see if we can kind of pull through this here. All right. Nicely done. All right, let's go and send Negotiator. I, I do think I misplayed that a little bit there. This doesn't feel as complicated as... Doesn't feel as complicated as the first few tiers. First few tiers were a little bit cumbersome, I feel like. Let's wrap it up. Nicely done. All right. Let's get to tier number four. First two tiers are more difficult. This one, oddly enough, was uh, the easiest out of all of them. All right, my hunch is that the final tier is going to be Executor. If I had to see right now, you kind of go to finalizer, malevolence, negotiator, kind of the meta. Oh no, we're going up against it. Looks like, hey, now that's cheating. That is outright cheating right there. Why is it you get, oh, you jerks. Anyways, well, let's just do this. We're going to go ahead and start this off with this. There we go. Got the reinforced hole. Um, maybe we should get some protection on, but you know what I'm going to do? Oh, we have to get, we, we're going to have to get through Sith Bomber one way or another here. I think what we're going to do is this. Let's just do this anyways on Darth Vader. All right, they got the taunt up, unfortunately. At least we got a daze. Not like it's gonna matter a whole lot here. Get the protect disruption. Nicely done, that's what I needed. All right, let's go ahead and get, um, you know what, let's get Outrider for the assist here. Oh, here we go, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage on that Vader. Let's get the protection on us. There we go, it's gonna save us a little bit from some headaches. All right, Chimera doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right, first reinforcement. Let's go do a buff the spell. Yeah, let's get a buff the spell on here. Unfortunately, everyone is dazed. We're not going to get an amazing play here. I think probably the best side action is going to be just to cleanse off Outrider. All right. Hmm, can we? Uh, it's starting to feel like I'm going to have to go through Sith Marauder. I don't know if we have enough firepower to get through TIE Advance. Yeah, we probably wasted some time here. Let's just redirect attention. Good news is, even if TIE Fighter dodges, they're not going to feed turn meter to the capital ship, which is great. Yeah, I think we definitely... If I could alter this, if I could redo this battle, go for, uh, go for the Sith Marauder first. Yeah, definitely would have done that. Outrider, send them in. Yeah, a little bit of it. You know, let's see if we can still work this out, even with the misplay here. Let's go send it. There we go. Marauder's out of the count. Let's go start working on Darth Vader. Nice, 69% ultra charge. That's when you know you're on a good footing. All right, taking a few hits. All right, good, deflect. Who's the first reinforcer? Ah, interceptor. All right. Oh, we we're gonna have to, let's fix up our ghost here. All right, ghost getting fixed up. Okay. Almost to our ultimate here. Let's go bring up Biggs. Let's get a taunt out here. Yeah, I, see, I'm not I'm not intimidated by TIE Fighter anymore. Not yet. See, like, even if they dodge, no turn meter. There we go. All right. Let's just start working back on Vader. Let's worry about that damage here. Yeah, we got to worry about her too. That's fine. Almost the dash ultimate. I think Profundity might be ready for their ultimate too here. Let's see. Hopefully Chimera doesn't get ahead of us here. Ooh, they might actually... Oh, no, we're, we're looking good on turn meter. Yeah! Hey, Chimera, you blue man group freak, get out of here. There we go. All right, Dash hitting his ult again to cleanse in here. TIE Fighter Pilot over here. Wrap it up. Easy. And that, my friends, should be enough to unlock the one and only Profanity. Let's go ahead and unlock this puppy. <laughs>
All right, now unfortunately, this is where is gonna shine. They could ignore Rebel Y-Wing, making me wonder if we wanna really evaluate having Rebel Y-Wing as a starter here. Uh, I'm just gonna do Protect Disruption for right now. Not really need it. All right, let's go ahead and go under Stealth, Outrider for the assist. There we go! Xander Blood is down, which really helps us out. You gotta take out Xander Blood first. No doubt about it. Uh, most likely, Houndsuit's gonna be taunting here in a second. Let's get the protection recovery, get some speed up on us. They're gonna taunt, that's fine. We can work our way around that eventually. All right, mark on them. That's what we want. We don't want to get marked on these other guys here. So let's go bring in our first reinforcement. I'm thinking what we're going to do. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, Wedge might be fantastic here for the buff immunity. We might, if in case all goes uh, sideways, we might end up doing that here. Uh, we're going to instead, let's bring out Biggs for the moment. Save our buff the spell for later. Yeah, I think Wedge would have been great on this team. Oh, that sucks. Big dodge. Big dodge. Okay. All right. What do you got for me? IG2000 coming out. Getting a stun on my biggie, biggie, biggie. Mm, let's go ahead and just see if we can try to get some ability blocks, maybe. Nope, didn't get anything. Let's do some basics on Houndstooth for right now. Okay. We definitely need to get to that uh, Razor Crest fast here. We're going to go send it. Let's call an Outrider for the assist. There we go. Maybe we can get some shield disruption. Oh, we don't not, we're not going to get shield disruption because we're not at seven stars. That's fine. Let's keep rolling with it here. All right. Okay, now we're going to use these concussion missiles over on Houndstooth. Nicely done. Okay, all right, all right. And they got dazed on them, so they can't be assisting. Let's go do that. A little bit of a basic. All right, look at our... our okay, we got to be careful. We're on, now we're on a time crunch here. They're hitting their payout. Okay, 80%. Hopefully, we can make it. I, I, I'm definitely thinking we want to bring in Wedge, though. Buff, buff, this fellow, or buff immunity would be fantastic. All right, let's go send it. Get out right for the assist here. Yeah, we got to do it. Outrider for the assist. We're stuck on Hound's Tooth. Ah! All right. It's fine. Let's go. Download progress increased by 20%. Here we go. Get some speed up. All right. We're still alive here. Let's go do basic. All right. Protect disruption. There it is. We got the shield disruption in place. Now let's see if we can try to make some work here. Hopefully they don't do basic. Eh, they cleanse it off though. All right. That's fine. Hitting our ultimates here. And there we go. Bon voyage, Executor. Uh, we're going to handle the rest of this ourselves here. But hey, go ahead. Get yourself a nice coffee on the way up. See you later. Really dumb that the whole entire fleet had to leave. But you know what? They're not the Grand Admiral directed at the video game division. So their plays aren't quite the same. At this point, we're gold. Nicely done. And at this point, my friends, I think we definitely earned ourselves a full auto. Uh, impression of the event. First two tiers are the most difficult. Afterwards, it seems like it's pretty much smooth sailing. Even the executor battle was easier than the finalizer and the malevolence tier, uh, in my opinion. Um, kind of what you expect. These, aren't, these, these events aren't meant to be like exciting legendary or galactic legend type events here. And it sucks. They don't let you use your Relic 9 Radis until you get to the bonus tier. Uh, otherwise, that's going to wrap it up. I think that's a three star. We three star that final tier. And this is the most important tier. Because if you want to get more shards of Radis to get the seven stars free to play, this is going to be how you're going to do it. And of course, at this point, I believe we're going to have exclusive, valuable packs inside the store that we're going to be able to get. And right there, we unlock the capital ship pack. So if you're impatient and you want to get the seven stars, this is going to be a way to do it. But before we wrap up, why don't we do a quick five or four star battle inside of our fleet arena? All right, so this is going to be a little bit tricky. We don't have the full entire reinforcement sets, and I'm assuming this is the leftover rebels are going to be going towards Admiral Akbar's. This is what I'm assuming is probably what it's going to look like for a four star Admiral Radis Profundity up against this. I have no idea how this is going to work out, especially since we don't have a max stop profundity. But let's see. Let's see how it handles the current meta. Do we need to have a lot more firepower? Good news is I can outrun this executor. Marking down Xander Blood, that's a big part to making this work here. Now we can go all in and look at Houndstooth without being able to gain Turn Meter. Not nearly as much of a threat now. I don't know if I want to do the Wiggle because we're not going to gain Turn Meter. I think I'm just going to do Basic for right now. Wow, that's really simple right there. Very simple. All right, they're going to go for Outrider, but no Xander Blood makes life a lot easier for me. And now what we'll probably do is... uh. Oh, I don't even know if I want to use this right now because they're likely just going to get a taunt up. Let's save this protect disruption for the moment. They're going to end up cleaning that up, I think. Let's just start hitting that reinforced hole over there. Okay. Let them do their thing. We're probably going to wiggle next time around. All right. Who do we got here? Bomber. All right. This is why, again, you don't want to have more than two reinforces on executor. They don't quite know what they're doing. This is meant to throw off the finalizer, having the Sith bomber in there. That's fine. All right. We're going to bring you in here and let's go ahead and just... Uh, 
Pop a hit. Nice little assist right there. All right, we're definitely going to wiggle here in a moment. Let's get the protection recovery, get some speed up. Okay, let's go wiggle. And let's now drop that. Nah, I got resisted. At least we got to buff the spell at least. All right, well, that means we can go all in on Razor Crest here. Do that. All right, there we go. No taunt. I'll take it. All right, reinforcing time. Back-to-back -back reinforcements, bringing out the ghost. Okay, let's go target Millennium Falcon for that assist here. Oh, wow, lots of great assists. Basic, 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 basic. Man, Houndstooth is literally just sitting there not doing anything. Get some basics, and that's going to be it. Wow, great. Uh, this is, I think this is promising. If you're someone that's not going to have a seven star for a while, you're probably going to get some good use out of this. Granted, the order is a little bit off here. You, people running executors. Stop placing so many reinforcements on defense. Uh, but I don't know if it's really going to matter for this here. Let's go send it on in. Let's get Hans Falcon to assist. Boom, 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 boom. And AOE probably can wrap up IG2000. There she blows. Uh, the only downside to this fleet I'm seeing right now is I'm not sure if we're going to have to increase the relic count on um, on the Phoenix crew because my Phoenix are not crazy geared. I have some purple Phoenix, if I remember correctly. Let's just go ahead, get rid of you, and that's pretty much it. Wow. Uh, good news. Yeah, this is definitely going to handle this fleet well. There we go. Sending them on out. I think the reason why this is going to be great for people going up against Executor, because one, you're going to get rid of Xander Blood really quickly, and that's critical, critical for the Executor to hit their ultimate as fast as possible. There you go. So hopefully this video is helpful to unlocking this profundity capital ship. It's definitely a little tricky with the, hopefully the starting lineup is going to help you guys out. And on top of that, I think we got some good news that you're going to be able to get some use out of this even before you get a seven star profundity. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, Gungi the Droids is going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to leave a like if this was helpful or entertaining to some minor extent. Comment down below on all your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And always remember, my friends, it's great to be in the Empire today.